YouTube, what is going on? Crowder here, and today we are bringing you a video about the brand new buffed striker SMGs. It might be time that the SMGs are not absolute trash. So yes, we have our platinum or forged striker SMG, and they just recently buffed this weapon. And in the pro play, everyone's been using the Rival 9. The Swarm's also a pretty good SMG, but that was really about it, and those are only like up-close SMGs. You didn't really have that overall like SMG that's pretty good from a medium range, the short range, and it looks like this update did it. They have the patch notes right here on your screen and you can see that basically they did a lot of damage range increases and they also made the ads a little bit faster so this gun should be a lot better than when i used it when i was going for gold camo so let's see what the striker is all about now that they buffed this gun maybe it's the first game of the day the sbmm gives me a bot lobby they're feeling nice but we'll see all right all right not feeling bad so far that's two. Oh, hold up those were easy kills but the gun felt pretty good this is a good range to know if the all right I had a little four piece to start. Not bad, not bad. A little triple kill four piece. Looking up at our mini map here. Now remember too, I'll always try and talk through my thoughts in these videos as much as I remember because I know you guys want to know just like map awareness and little tips here and there while I play. So we got some people on the mini map over this way. We're looking up one person's down here and they're spawning over in this corner. So if you guys want to know a little bit about Rust, Rust is a very simple map. It's very close up, it's very hectic, and this map in general has your four spawn points. Before we really get into this gameplay and go for this 100 kills, you have four spawn points, attack map. It's usually this corner, that corner, this corner, or that corner. And where your teammates are generally is usually where the opposite of the enemy team is going to be. So if I'm in this corner and I'm blocking this, my teammates are in that corner, they're probably going to be spawning over to my left. And you can kind of do that every time you spawn up. So I'm here, we're over here by this corner, so they're probably going to be spawning over here to my right or obviously on me because we didn't get some kills. So you always want to play your close-up kills when you're playing this map. But then you want to run towards where they're spawning. So they're either going to be spawning in these two corners because we have this side of the map if you look up at the mini map again. So I'm going to be making some plays. See what we can do. So they're behind me. Oh my God, don't get turned on. Wow. All right. So that's the gist of Rust when you're playing. So you're a little bit more aware. And then obviously you want to avoid the getting spawn trap from that middle area too. Got some spawns. Got some kills. I stopped shooting. That's not a good sign when you're using the striker because obviously we just want a stronger weapon. We'll see. Looks like they should spawn in this corner now too from the mini map. Nice shots out of that guy. What do we got right now? We got 10 kills. That's not bad, but it's not what we want. We got to start getting streaks. We got to perform a little bit better than this. I start using my tacticals. Oh, nice head glitch over there. But I'll tell you one thing. This striker at that range does feel good. Now, the two other guns that I mentioned when I was playing this is the Rival 9 and the Swarm. Now, both of those guns are really good, and it looks like a lot of the pro players are still going to use the Rival 9 because of the way pro players play. But this might be a gun that you can use in general in pubs and have fun again. It's more consistent than the Rival 9. And Warzone's around the corner, guys. And Warzone is something that this gun could be useful for because this has a 60-round mag. And the build that I'm using right now, I will show you at the end, has uh, something pretty interesting on it that actually might give it an advantage in Warzone for uh, a couple reasons that I'll explain when we get there. I don't know if I'm getting 100 kills. I needed a warm-up game. We didn't get the lobby that we wanted, but that is okay. He's on A. These guys are really trying to cap flags on us. I don't really like that. I don't really like that on C. Those ranges with an SMG right there actually feel a lot better. So I'm definitely happy with this buff so far. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you guys use this gun yet. What you think the best SMG is now with this buff. I don't know if this is the best, but it's definitely feeling really good. We came back and we're in the lead. That's step one. Now step two is to get a lot of kills. Problem with this map for me with an SMG is that you have to play aggressive with it. And it's hard to go on a streak because the spawns are so close to each other. Like every time I push up right now, there's someone else. There's somewhere. This is just an absolute mix fest. But we're going to keep going. That's one. That's two. Hitting the slides. That's three. Oh my god, I thought I thought he just spawned right in front of me. I'll just say no way. Alright, we got a UAV. That's a good start. And you can see how I'm controlling this spawn right now. I'm basically just holding this corner so I can like kinda, you know, go back and forth here between corners. But now I'm getting a wall bang. This is not good. I'm gonna throw an aid into that corner spawn. Hopefully that lands. Alright, that's a big kill. Alright, we need two flags right now, but I'm trying to also go on a streak, so this is just tough. Oh, the sniper. Got to back down from that challenge. We got to play this smart. I feel like I'm trapped in right now. Good snakes out of me. I'm weak. I got to regen my health. Got to hit the slides on them. Oh, baby. They had me pinned in that corner. All right. We got to get them off B here. Don't let them cap B. Come on, boys. All right. My streak comes to an end, but we got to cap a flag because we are losing. Drop shot in. No sniper here. Oh, I ran out. I don't know. Game's about halfway done, and we only have 28 kills. We are, uh, at this pace, not fully at the pace for 100 kills, it's looking like. But it's never over until it's over. All right. A little three-piece there. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Ooh. All right. I got to reload here. 
No, he's on A. They're everywhere, man. But yeah, the more I use this gun right now in this game, the more this class feels really, really good, to be honest. It actually feels like kind of fun to run a sub again. I don't feel like I'm just getting melted by ARs over and over again. And that's a solid start. It's definitely not perfect, but it's a solid start, like I was saying. We keep using this striker and see what we can find. We got people spawning on my mini map to my right. This is a very fast paced map. We're gonna hit the slide cancel camera on them. We're gonna do it again. We don't see them here. Oh, little drop shot. Back off for a little bit. We use some patience here. We gotta use patience. We wanna go on a streak. People to my right. Damn, nice shot. What gun is that? He is using a sniper. That's the inhibitor. Nice shots, dude. We'll give it to him. You gotta tip it when you see it, dude. Honestly, my teammates are, are godsends right now. A little two-piece there, too. Jump up here. No, not the ride shield guy. Oh, bad nade. Holy shit. Looks like we're gonna win this game so far as long as we keep it up. As I say that, they're capping A, and they capped it. Okay. I jinxed myself. Big snakes here. Gonna keep snaking this way. Gonna see if they can to back off for a second. This guy's probably gonna challenge me now. I'm gonna challenge him while he challenges me. Oh, so close, baby. So close. Almost did him dirty. Almost did him dirty. All right, so if we're in these corners, they should be spawning in the opposite corners from me. But again, it's the same thing over and over again with this map, dude. This map is all about basically spawning up, looking to your top left, and getting your awareness right away, and then getting right into the mix. You have no time to think on this map, as you can see. You want to basically spawn in and know exactly kind of the direction to look, and then start looking at those angles that you want to see. But yeah, man, this map could be a lot. I guess while I'm playing this map, too, I'm curious to see what, like, just in general, the YouTube uh, just audience thinks. You guys think Rust is one of the best small maps? And what I mean by that is, like, you have your shoot houses, your shipments, your nuke towns. Like, what's the best small map in Call of Duty? Because this might be a hot take. I'm not a huge Rust fan. I don't hate Rust. I like it. I, I enjoy Rust when I play it and stuff. But, like, I don't think this map is better than, like, your shipment and shoot houses. Is that a hot take or is that a bad take or is that, like, a correct take? Oh, my God. I hit the reload. We're finessing the pole. We're finessing this pipe, baby. Hey, yo. Got that kill. But yeah, dude, I don't know if Rust is like my favorite map. Like, I just feel like Rust is like a map where it's like kind of mixy, but it's also kind of just like not as mixy as it could be, but it's also like not that methodical. I think it's like a weird medium. It's a weird medium. And of course, I get a VTOL jet when the game comes to an end, dude. Like, this was the road to 100 right here. It would have been 100 kills if I got this VTOL jet. I, 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 had, a, I had a chance. Probably not. But I'm going to say I had a chance because no one will ever know if I didn't have a chance. But 56 kills, two captures, didn't even have to do too much capping, and we still win. We're undefeated on the channel right now. And I promise you, if I lose a game, I'm posting it too. You guys will see me lose a game eventually, and I'm posting it. But right now, we are undefeated on this channel right now. 200 to 147. I really hope my camera wasn't blocking the score again. I might have had my camera too high, and if it was, I apologize. Apologize, but that's not the end of this video. We're gonna do what we did last video and also load into a search and destroy to try it out in S and D. Oh hell no, hell no. We're not playing derail. Nope, 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 nope. We're leaving derail. We're leaving derail. We're definitely leaving derail because the game started. All right, we just loaded into a game and my team is down 0-1. We're gonna try and rile up the troops and get them feeling good and, and bring them back. Hopefully they win this round so it's at least a 1-1. But it's terminal S and D, baby. This is too good to turn down, especially with a striker. Now I have some routes that I used to be able to hit that were pretty pretty smart, but I don't know if they're gonna work without light weight and i don't have the lightweight class on but we'll see oh two of them this rage quit dude hold up we might have a chance here we might have a chance so let's see what the teammates got to say to me yo boys how are we feeling are we ready to get this win or what negative. negative all right that's probably not the best thing all good though we got another terminal s d for the channel and we're hitting routes we got a kill oh we're cutting the defense up right now we're cutting the defense up they're not back middle and he ran through plane they're either inside of the plane i think they had to be inside of the plane Oh, there's two AFK, maybe? Were those guys AFK? I think those guys had to be AFK. All right, this might be a little too easy. Hopefully, people join. Oh, there you go. People are joining. People are joining. We're good. This is a weird one. I wonder why they left the game. This is what we need rank play, dude. We need rank play so people aren't leaving the game. Someone was just joining, but we'll see if he actually does. We're going to do a different route here. Watch this route. We're going to cross here. We're going to jump out this window like an absolute lunatic and just hope that they're not watching it. 6v6. Here we go. And we're going to slide. We're hitting the ultimate plank right now. All right, if they're coming off spawn, they should be back here. Oh my god, hold up. Bang. Easy AFK kills. Now, are they in the red building? Well, it used to be red in MW2. It's now called AC building. Got him stunned. We got him killed. We're gonna hop up. We gotta clear escalators or bottom eskies. He back here? He is. There you go. Teammate shooting at him. Easy kills. 
We're bringing this back, baby. We already got six kills to our name. We are not even playing a full search and destroy yet. But this is looking like another easy one, dude. Two of them are AFK. I don't know what's going on right now. But even this loadout that I am using is also very good in search and destroy. It feels good. The suppressor build you can also use even in regular respawn. I'm trying it out right now. And this is something that I figured it would be really good for that. So I'm liking it so far. Now let's see if I can hit my movement for the YouTube video. Because this is a fantastic route in SMD. All right. Well, I should have cleared that first. So now I know that guy's going to do that. I'm not going to fall for it. But let's see what we're going to watch here. Oh, this guy's hitting the snake. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. Look at these snakes. Looks like Selly. I'm on a second account right now, dude. This guy must have watched my movement video, dude. He's cracked. Is this one of those movement guys, dude, where he just like YYs everywhere? Look at this guy. This guy has YouTube in his clan tag. He must be recording a YouTube video, dude. I, I, I think he is. What do you guys think? Wow, look at this. We got to stay on this point of view now. I wonder when he's going to like aim in his weapon. 1v5. All that for that. A lot of flashy movement there, but no execution. But hey, I just died too. I can't really talk smack. All right, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to learn from mistakes. We're going to go same route here. I do have a UAV, but I want to use that UAV on our offense. I just... Why did I call the... I didn't mean to call the... Everything about that round was just wrong. Everything about it. Okay, hopefully we win. Let's go watch the snaker. He's back. Look at him. Let's see if he can teach us any movement. This is what I was going to show you if he does it. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, boy. All right. We won the round. My UAV came in clutch. I don't know what I was doing right there, but wow. All right. This guy's got eight kills, though. This, guy, this guy's talented, dude. He's got it. He's got the flashy swagger to his gameplay, too. I like it. I started using it. Oh, look at him. He's talking right now. Bro, I like that movement you got going on over there. I guarantee you he knows I'm talking about him. Yeah, cheat, cheater movement. You think he's cheating? That's very negative. Big cheating. Big cheating. Nothing's in no, here. Oh, I got fucking... Oh, uh, good, Bob. And any AFK? There's no AFK. Oh, no. 4v5. Easy kill, though. We're gonna hop up red here. Got that kill. Checking our corners. Could be down escalators. He is. W. Striker's feeling good in S&D, baby. All right. 5-2. He said big cheater movement, dude. Ooh, nice shot. That was low-key nasty right there, bro. A nasty snipe. Yo, let's fucking... Everyone hit B. Everyone hit B. Just run at B like maniacs. Go, 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 go. Whatever you say. Oh, boy. Go, go, go. Get him. Shoot him. He's dead. Go, go. I have a UAV. Everyone run. They can't stop us all. Get him. Get him. Oh! That's the master play call. Yes, sir, baby. That's how we do it. Damn. That's how you play call right there. World champion play calls. That was awesome. Yes. GG. GG's, boys. <laughs> Wait, no way. The ninja star. Oh, baby. 13 kills. We didn't even get to play the full thing out. The striker's feeling great. All right, now it's time to show you guys some loadouts. So the first weapon I was using was the striker, and this was the loadout, not the weapon. The first loadout I was using when I was playing Domination. This is more of like a respawn. You don't care about the minimap as much showing up on the minimap, and you're just trying to be aggressive. You have the muzzle break, which is a purifier for horizontal recoil. That's going to help you a lot. It makes the recoil patterns easier to control. The recon barrel gives you bullet velocity, and that range, the damage range is nice. Just the range in general is nice. With the X-Tam Phantom under barrel, it's going to give you... Vertical recoil, some gun kick control, but also ADS and sprint to fire, which is very important. The high grain ammunition, which is definitely nice to add kind of that damage range. It does hurt your recoil control a little bit, so I don't recommend that for everybody. And I'll show you guys the next build. And now this stock is what I was talking about. This stock is crazy because you have a gun kick control, recoil control, aiming stability, and aim idle sway. It doesn't slow you down terribly, and it also doesn't allow you to have a rear grip on because it does so much. But that opens up attachments, and what I was getting at before is that opens up attachments when we're playing Warzone. This only has a 30-round magazine. If you were to take off high grains, 48-round magazine, 60-round magazine. We all know in Warzone, those 40 to 50 to 60-round magazines are really, really helpful when you are running around playing Warzone because of the time to kill and the plates and all that. So this is a gun that actually might be really good for Warzone 2. Of course, we have some videos coming out on that soon. But again, this is also a gun that might be good in Warzone as well as just really good in multiplayer right now. But I was not using the 60 round. I was using the high grain. And then the other build that I was using is this. Right here, we have the striker that I was using in Search and Destroy. Now, this has the Shadow Strike Suppressor on it instead. Going to have a little bit worse of, obviously, that horizontal. 
horizontal recoil, but you are undetectable by the radar. And then I had low grain ammunition on it because low grain ammunition takes away some damage range and bullet velocity. But when you're playing with a submachine gun, it doesn't really matter. You're not shooting super far range and you're obviously having a lot of up close gunfights. That damage range goes from... 19 meters or like that effective damage range goes from uh, let's see if you take this off it's 11.4 to 9.7 and again a lot of your gunfights are going to be pretty close in search and destroy so i figured i would try it out but it does help you recoil out too but again you can get kind of just crafty with this and just see what kind of works with you but overall i really really enjoyed both loadouts that i just used so i recommend trying those out i would recommend them to a lot of people the striker feels really good after the buff I'm liking the gun. I'm going to keep it in my arsenal. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, drop a like, drop a subscription. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.